hello and welcome to Imagineering Every Day. My name is Jack Greenwood and today we're making a boxing rink. So I was hired to make a set for an event and the theme was food fight. But I wanted to make it funny so I created food characters that were boxing each other. I didn't want to use rope and pillars to make this boxing ring because I wanted it to be very thick and very visible from far distance. So in order to do this I used plastic tablecloth and I ironed it together to create the big three dimensional boxing ring on stage. If you haven't seen my other videos on how to make inflatable stuff I'm just going to recap real quick. All you do is take two pieces of plastic tablecloth, put them together, use wax paper around it, and use an iron to fuse the plastic tablecloth together. That way when you hook it up to a fan, it inflates, you have something big, colorful, inflatable, and it's very cheap to make. Side note, this is how small the boxing ring gets, very small. I can store this and reuse it again, which I will. <laughs> I decided to make it inflatable this time because it was just a bunch of cylinders. So it was very easy to create that shape with the plastic tablecloth. The whole look was going for a red, white, and blue look, so I used blue and white plastic tablecloth for this build. This entire thing cost $6. That's it. $6. So if you're all, I don't have money to make this, no, you can make this. This is easy to make. It's not easy to make, but it's easy, it's cheap to make. This is cheap to make. So I learned a few things from making this. It was not as simple as I thought it was going to be. Here's how I made it. I used four blue tablecloths and three white tablecloths to make this whole thing. I started by creating the cylinders of blue for the outsides of the ring. I cut circles of cardboard so that I knew how big I wanted it to be, and then I wrapped the blue tablecloth around it and measured the size. Then I just cut the blue tablecloth in the sizes that I needed. It's just a cylinder, so all you need is the circumference of how big the circle is, and then you just cut the length of tablecloth that you need, and then you just cut out another circle out of the tablecloth, which is what I had after I cut out the cardboard. I made four pieces of cardboard that shape, and then I started ironing the blue tablecloth together. All I did there was make the rectangle piece into one by fusing that together, and then I just attached the cap, which was the other circle, to the top piece and turned it inside out. Once it was inside out, then I taped it to the piece of cardboard on the bottom. The cardboard isn't airtight, but it created a nice solid bottom, and that's what I needed for this build. I just used basic tape to tape the plastic tablecloth to the cardboard, and it worked fine. Make sure that when you do this, it's very straight so that when you inflate it, it doesn't have a weird bend to it. I made all four cylinders for the four corners, and then I went and created the white rope-like pieces to attach to those. I started by cutting one plastic tablecloth in half so I could get two cylinders out of it. And again, all I did was iron it together using wax paper and an iron. Once I ironed all of the tubes, I had to attach them to the blue corner pieces. So here's where I ran into trouble. Usually whenever I make something out of plastic tablecloth, you just iron everything on one side and then you cut a hole and turn it all inside out. But this was really difficult because I couldn't, I couldn't iron the white pieces to the blue pieces and turn everything inside out because I had these bases, these cardboard bases. So I had to figure out a way to attach these white tubes to these blue tubes so that you don't see the seam. I don't I wanted you to see the scene. I wanted it to look nice, so I don't want this plastic tablecloth sticking out. So what I first started to do was create a circle out of cardboard that's the same size as the white plastic tablecloth. I stuck that into the cylinder, the white cylinder, and then I tried to hot glue around it and stick it onto the blue. And that was great, that worked. But the only problem was I had to end up taking the piece of cardboard out of the blue tablecloth, and then I had to cut a hole into the blue. So I had to reach all the way through the white plastic tablecloth cylinder and then cut into the blue. So here's what I ended up doing, which I suggest doing. You start off by plugging in your fan and you plug it into the first blue cylinder that's going to be inflated. Then I hot glued the first ring onto that blue cylinder where I wanted it. Then I cut a hole where the air was going to come through the blue tablecloth. I took the second ring and I hot glued it onto the white cylinder and I could then maneuver however I wanted it and hot glue the two rings together. That's what attached the white tablecloth to the blue tablecloth. This was really helpful because I didn't want crinks to form in the plastic tablecloth. If you do this wrong, there can be twists in the white tubes and I didn't want that to form. So I had to maneuver the ring side to side until the white plastic tablecloth was nice and seamless once it was inflated. If it's slightly rotated too much, then there's gonna be this weird crink formed inside. So when you do these rings, it actually helps a lot because it can help you adjust without making something permanent. And that's all you do. I just kept the fan running, I hot glued all the rings together, and I just allowed the whole thing to inflate as I was building it. Then you just attach each white plastic tablecloth tube to the blue plastic tablecloth cylinders, and you've got your whole ring set up. And that's all you have to do. It helped so much to have this inflated as I was putting it together. That's my biggest tip that I got out of this. A lot of times when you're creating inflatable stuff out of plastic tablecloth, it doesn't really work because you don't really know what it's gonna look like once you inflate it. So 
If you get to work with it while it's being inflated, that's really, really helpful. When we showed up on site, all you had to do was attach the fan, plug it in, and it just it inflated. There you go. I thought about taping the bottoms to the stage, but I didn't need to because it just kind of stayed up by itself. And everyone loved it. It was great. It made the stage very colorful. It was super cheap to make, very lightweight, and that's how you make a boxing ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to Imagineering Every Day. My name is Jack Greenwood, and thanks for watching.